Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Steven Spielberg's Empire of the Sun in 1987. Um, so yes, here we are, um, another Spielberg review, and um, here's the Blu-ray steelbook. Um, really, really great steelbook here. I love this spot gloss um, kind of look, and um, of course there he is, uh, Jim Graham, um, and of course played by Christian Bale. Um, now this film, um, you know, is it's a Spielberg, um, you know, that I've seen. This is my fourth viewing now, and um, you know, it's a pretty controversial film, let's say, you know, and. Um, yeah, it's quite divisive. It didn't do great at the box office when it was released. Um, it did earn back, you know, uh, considerably um, for other, you know, means, but not really from its actual box office. You know, it's, it's, it's um, you know, it's how much people saw this film, you know, and, and stuff. And um, you know, critically, um, some hated the film. Um, some praised it as one of Spielberg's best. And um, you know, Roger Ebert, for example, would give the film two point five, and you know, it kind of he said it was all over the place. Um, but yes, you know. Some um, some have said it, especially over the years. You know, this is one of his finest films. Um, it has a six, a seven point eight, sorry, um, on IMDb, um, which is higher than the last uh, Spielberg, that, Spielberg that I reviewed, which was Close Encounters. Um, that has a uh, seven point seven. Um, so yeah, it is kind of a divisive film. Um, some people love it, some people hate it, and um, you know, you do do some people, you know, some people in between. You know, it's a very very uh, mixed bag film in terms of the um, reception, and um, yeah. Christian Bale's very first performance, um, he was 12 um, when, he, when he was actually cast in the film, and um, yeah, imagine that, you know, his very first performance um, with Spielberg, um, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. Now this is a very, very different film for Spielberg, although it's kind of a, a um, you know, it's kind of a blockbuster in many, many ways. Um, it kind of isn't um, traditionally, and um, it's very, very different in tone and, um, you know, kind of content to, to pretty much all of his films, um, certainly, you know, up to this point, because you know he, he makes, of course, more um, you know political or war films now. Um, you know, but but this is very very different for him for him. You know, in the eighties, you know, it's, it stands out definitely. You know, it's very very different to any of his other films. Then you know, E.T. and Raiders and stuff. Um, you know, it's not that it's better. Um, I don't think it's better. You know, I think they're both uh, better films. Once I mentioned, but yes, um, this film. Um, you know, for me, you know, I I don't quite see how this is. Hated by some, um, you know, this is uh, the basic plot uh, is set in World War Two, of course, and um, this character of, of Jamie Graham, um, or Jim, as, as we know him um, in the film, is basically, and this is a spoilers review, of course, um, you know, it's of course when the Japanese invaded, um, and this is in Shanghai, um, you say yes, this British uh, wealthy family, um, you know, Jim is the son, and they live in this house, you know, of servants, and, um, you know, it's when the, when the invasion happens, um, you know, things of course change, and Yes, basically Jim is separated from his parents, um, and eventually, you know, he meets this character, um, you know, of, of Basie, um, played by John Malkovich. Um, now, wow, you know, he, in the film, John Malkovich is absolutely stunning, and um, yeah, you've got uh, Joe Patalino, uh, um, you know, he's in the film as well, uh, one of the main characters. You've even got Ben Stiller in the film, and eventually, you know, he meets up with them, and he's kind of trying to survive at first, um, when they get caught, of course, um, and then they get sent to this Japanese uh, POW camp, and um, yeah, the rest of the film is mostly set in the camp, uh, and then at the end, you know, there's the different things arise, of course, and um, yeah, this really is a loss, loss of innocence tale, um, you know, and um, although at the same time, you know, it's something where Christian Bale's character of Jim um, is one of the only characters in the film who keeps this uh, kind of vigour, this energy up, um, so it's it's very, very complex, um, you know, this is not a, a depressing film, um, like, you know, it could be described as, um, you know, in terms of loss of innocence and the death of this, um, you know, it's very, very different, um, but it is very, very dark at times, um, and it's just, for me, um, you know, and I, I think, um, fine if people don't like it, um, but for me, since I saw this film, um, I've been saying that this is one of the finest uh, Spielberg films, and um, just, when I first saw it, I was blown away, um, I got this, of course, because you know, I got this when I was around mm, maybe maybe fourteen or, or you know something like that, and um, yeah, basically, I wanted to see this because of Spielberg, um, quite under underviewed, and of course Christian Bale, who I love as an actor, and it's his first film role, and uh, yeah, it's just always uh, intrigued me um, as being you know another Spielberg, um, you know his early works, of course, which I do generally prefer. Um, but yes, you know, I got this got on DVD back then, and um, I was completely blown away, um, and just. Every time since, um, this is my fourth, fourth year now, of course, um, I've just been, you know, it's grown on me even more, um, you know, there's no doubt for me now uh, that this is 
one of the finest films ever made and um, you know I've never really um, had any different opinions but as I say it's slightly grown on me each time um, even more and um, for me this is a masterpiece and um, well into my top 100 films um, so yeah really really high on my list um, you know it doesn't get much more praise other than this um, and actually for me it's the sixth best um, Spielberg film um, there's a hint so I do think it's considerably better um, than the previous ones I reviewed, you know, Saving Private Ryan and Close Encounters, not E.T., which is the first one that I reviewed, um, that's in my top 10, of course, and my favourite Spielberg, um, but yes, this one, this is a true masterpiece, and it's just one of the very best films ever made for me, um, an absolute flawless piece of work, um, and just, well, it just means so much to me, uh, this film, personally, and, um, you know, people will be... Uh, shocked you know that I've given it such a high rating when I get to that but you know it's just my opinion I, I do generally think this is a finer film than say Close Encounters and just one of the very best films ever made it's one of the best uh, dramas uh, war films uh, you know kind of coming of age films um, and just for me it's the best Christian Bale performance you know all these accolades that I can give the film you'll get them in this review but yes um, the opening uh, kind of 30 minutes um, or 25 is you know set in the scene um, you know you have him in the in the mansion basically and um, you know you get to know although you don't really truly get to know his parents and that's the thing um, it's really really interesting in this film um, and this is seen through the eyes of Jim you know it's a, a film that Spielberg you know kind of um, he shows us the point of view um, from Jim and uh, in that sense everything uh, you know is from his point of view you don't really get to see um, you, know, you see uh, war in a very very different way to a lot of films um, there's a very particular kind of strange um you know fit, uh, tone at times um, and the way that the film is shot um you know is actually it's all because it's the point of view of jim and um, you know the way he views it at first especially you know when he's naive and he doesn't you know he's he's in this kind of uh, wealthy family and you could say uh, some would say he's you know he's not respectful and everything and um you know he's snobby and all this kind of stuff and um you know things change of course um so you the kind of uh, maybe that's why um some critics uh, like rodri but have said the film is all over the place, you know, the tone is off, um, but I just don't, I don't feel that. I think consistently the narrative is flawless, um, but, you know, you've got different kind of viewpoints, different feelings, um, you know, in, in the different acts, because the character of Jim, uh, you know, he changes so much over the course of the film um, in many, many different ways. But yes, you know, early on you kind of see um, many, many, you know, um, points of view, uh, you know, these perspective shots and uh, very, very, you know, kind of, in a particular way, and um, you, you see his you kind of viewpoint of war, um, and of course, he's obsessed with planes, um, and you know, the, these, these uh, fighter uh, pilots and stuff, and um, you know, he's, he's just, he's constantly, you know, um, acting like a child, of course, which he is in the film, um, and then of course, as the film goes on, um, and he goes through these struggles, um, you know, then he, he kind of loses this sense in many ways, but, but again, you know, he keeps his spirit up, and um, you know, this is what it's all about. The final act, uh, maybe less so, you know, it's kind of um, a lot more darker at times and very graphic, actually. Um, you know, surprisingly, this is not, as I say, very, uh, you know, kind of similar to films like E.T. and, uh, you know, Raiders. Um, very, very different film. But for me, yeah, it's, it's one of the finest. Um, this is very inspired by um, David Lean films. And um, I think originally, actually, um, David Lean was, you know, involved in the project. Uh, but yes. Spielberg, um, of course, uh, came aboard, um, produced by Spielberg as well, co-produced, and um, yeah, of course, um, you know, it, it's shot at times like a Spielberg, uh, but you know, it's very, very different, um, and just, you know, it's kind of gritty at times, um, but it also has these wonderful, um, you know, these sunsets, uh, the sun-baked, uh, you could say, evenings, um, you know, in the film, especially in the second half, and, um, you know, it's kind of a perfect blend of many, many different things, and um, just... This, this whole narrative and, and this journey uh, of Jim, um, you know, is unforgettable. Um, there's so many moments in the film um, that I, I, I just never forgot. Um, you know, even you know, even though I saw it many many years ago for the first time, um, and actually, you know, I saw it quite soon after that, and then I hadn't seen it until last year again um, was when I rewatched it. Got this uh, Blu-ray, of course, and um, yeah, it just all came back to me, and just it grew me even more so, as I say. And now, of course, um, you know. Basically, last year I watched about 20 Spielberg, actually. I never reviewed them on my channel. Um, and then, of course, because I didn't review as much uh, just in general films then, as many Bonds and stuff at that point. But yes, now we are back with the annual kind of Spielbergs. Um, yes, um, I've rewatched it again. And it's, it's great to, you know, talk about it now. Um, but yes, you know, this film, it's just truly wonderful. This narrative um, is something that is so, um, so wonderful. You know, this has a sense of wonder. 
And that's an understatement once again. Uh, Spielberg knows how to create uh, the sense of wonder and um, once again, through the, uh, you know, the view of a child um, and it's war this time. Um, so very, very different, um, you know, it's just, it's such a unique film, uh, such a moving one. Um, you know, there's, there's so many moments. Personally for me in this film where I just think that's one of the greatest sequences or moments in cinema, um, you know, even the opening. From the very opening scene, you know, when you see Christian Bale, um, you know, character of Jim singing in the choir and stuff, um, it's just truly something, it's, it's so moving. Um, and then of course you've got the standout moments, um, the separation from the parents, which is just heartbreaking. Um, these moments bring me to tears. And then of course into the camp, um, something else, um, the whole kind of uh, destroy, you know, destroying of the camp itself um, and just so many moments in the camp. And then of course the atom bomb scene um, and the ending. All of these moments um, and more for me are some of the finest uh, scenes in cinema um, sequences. You know, it's just it's scene after scene, moment after moment. Um, you know, just that is, is is perfect in every sense. Um, you know, it's just absolutely wonderful, uh, mind blowing film. You know, if you've got you've got scenes, uh, you know, that are just so epic, um, followed by really really intimate moments um, that just bring me to tears. Um, and it's all com combined um, so wonderfully. Nothing ever feels uh, like it breaks the flow of the film and um, just these characters, the side characters, um, you know, there's such a charm to them. Uh, Nigel Havers especially is absolutely brilliant, um, you know, in the film. And John Malkovich, wow, um, as Basie, um, just one of the best um, characters in the film for me. And um, this, you know, the relationships in the film is really um, just so strong and so emotional for me and just so meaningful, um, you know, the relationship between John Malkovich um, and of course uh, you know his character and Jim uh, in the film is something else you know it, it's very very complex and um, you know if you're maybe if you're a kid you won't understand um, because it's a very very complex relationship you know it kind of it seems at first very straightforward you know kind of like he's a, he's a father figure um, but then of course there's moments where he acts very cold in the film uh, to Jim and um, you know it's, it's very complex um, he's trying to survive himself uh, and at times you know he acts very cold to Jim um, and you know there's moments where he could easily it seems like he could have left uh, Jim um, of course he's mainly thinking for himself throughout the film uh, but he does of course form you know a really really powerful relationship and he does deep down even though he tries to hide it um, really really care for Jim uh, and of course Jim you know truly cares for him as well and it's just really wonderful um, it's something else you know it really it, it's just it's so emotional for me you know and um, of course just all the side characters in the camp, um, once they reach uh, the camp, the POW camp, it's just, it turns into, you know, something else. Um, you know, these moments, uh, combine that with the, wow, the wonderful John Williams score, um, better than Close Encounters and St. Frank Ryan, um, you know, the score. This is probably in his top five scores um, for me, um, you know, just thinking on it. Probably so, um, you know, there's this film like Star Wars and, um, you know, E.T. and Raiders and, 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 and probably Jurassic Park, um, but really, other than that, um, I can't think of too many that, that really are better than this. Um, in terms of John Williams, um, it's overwhelming. Um, you know, it's got this epic feel, uh, but it really is just, it's something that, you know, once it gets going, the score, um, it's just really uh, overwhelms with emotion. And, um, you know, just the way it's used in the film is one of the very best cases um, of a director knowing how to use music in a film um, ever. You know, it really is um, in every sense, you know, perfectly used, um, never overused. And yes, you know, it comes in, it really kicks in um, once he gets to the camp and um, these moments. The exposition in the film um, is genius, uh, you know, and I imagine the storyboarding really just, Spielberg is so good at storyboarding um, and just bringing these visual moments to life, um, you know, it's just, it's genius stuff, you know, I do think it's worthy of the best of Lean um, in many ways, you know, of course he, he, uh, you know, he really admired uh, David Lean, of course, and, um, you know, so do I. And yes, I do. I do personally think you know it's worthy of these sort of things. Um, you know, not as good as Lawrence of Arabia, um, but really, it's it can be compared. I think personally, and many will be shocked at that, but I, I do really think so. I think this is one of the, the very finest films. It's such a, a lovely film. Um, you know, it's not it's not entirely light at all. You know, it's very very dark, um, but it doesn't shy shy away from the brutalities of war. Um, and just I love how you know even the the kind of um, Yes, the Japanese, you know, leader of the camp, um, the sergeant, you know, is, is even he is given humanity, even though, you know, he's got these uh, these people in the camps and, um, you know, these are the best war films do this, you know, they give um, everyone humanity and, um, you know, they, they give them 
the kind of balance, um, you know, and um, not everyone is kind of entirely one-sided. Um, you know, this is something that Spielberg does in this film. Um, of course, Jim meets um, as well this, this, this uh, younger boy um, in the film uh, who's on the opposite side, of course, uh, and they form a friendship. Um, you know, they, they both love planes and they're obsessed and stuff. Um, and then, of course, they, you know, the scenes with them in the film are truly heartwarming as well. Um, you know, it really is a wonderful coming of age film and um, it's got all these elements um, that you'd expect um, in there of course. The cinematography um, is stuff of legends, you know, I think this is some of his very best stuff, um, you know, it could, at times it's, it's worthy of something like Jurassic Park, maybe not Schindler's List or, um, you know, kind of E.T. or Raiders and stuff, but other than that, you know, again, this is one of his very best uh, shot films and, um, you know, the editing while the editing is genius stuff, um, this is something else, um, you know, the way that the scenes flow and, um, you know, the juxtaposition of different shots, um, once they proceed, um, you know, they just, they add such a, a, an effect and, um, you know, the very, very slow fades, um, the overlapping, all these techniques uh, actually at times reminds me of Malick films, um, that's how good it is and um, just truly adding as well a trance to the film. Um, it, it kind of feels like a fever dream at times. Um, you know, it's very, very dreamlike in this film. And, um, you know, the editing plays a big, big part in that. And um, just, I just kind of believe this film. Um, I cannot believe how underrated it is for me personally. And, um, you know, I just, I don't see how, you know, some critics can say that this is a bad film, you know, generally a bad film, um, a piece of, you know, a complete failure, um, it's been called. And, um, you know, for me, it's anything but, um, you know, I think, more and more people are starting to realise, you know, that it is actually a great film. Um, and, um, yeah, of course, everyone will react differently to films. But for me, um, this is one of the finest uh, Spielberg. And just, you know, it's just, it's one of the best films ever made. One of the absolute greatest. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's into my top 70, top 65. You know, this actually does get my highest rating um, of 100% plus. Tier S, um, yes, Empire of the Sun, um, I do believe is a magnum opus, um, so yes, shocking, um, but for me, um, it's one of the most realised films I've ever seen, um, the narrative, the journey that we go through, um, it's such an emotional one, um, and innocence, it betrays innocence, the loss of innocence, but also, you know, how some people refuse to truly, truly uh, give up hope, and, um, you know, Jim is a character who's one of the best in film, and um, he's a character who is so compelling, um, you know, he's not forcibly likeable at first, you know, Spielberg really, uh, you know, is so sincere in this film in the way, and obviously Christian Bale's performance, the way he kind of builds up this character um, of Jim and um, he doesn't, you know, make him instantly on paper, you know, truly likeable, um, you know, and of course he is a snob at first and all these kind of things. He treats some of the servants quite badly and, um, you know, it just, as the film goes on, um, he basically just presents this character uh, with all his flaws um, and of course, you know, the great things about this character um, and that's the genius thing uh, about Jim and um, just just uh, a hilarious character as well, you know, it's really, really great humorous moments, um, you know, despite what some people are saying, it's, it's humorless, um, I don't believe that. Uh, John Malkovich adds so much to the film, um, all the side characters, um, you know, Nigel Havis is great, um, you know, it's just... It's sort of a great, great cast, and um, you know, just the the scenes, uh, you know, with the salute, and um, you know, that scene where he starts singing, um, you know, with kind of in front of the Japanese, and then you've got straight after that the destroying of the camp. You know, this film, it's just scene after scene, as I say, sequences that just blow my mind. Um, and this film, it's one of the most emotional I've ever seen. Um, you know, I just have to give it the TRS because the whole journey of this, you know, it's an epic film. It's uh, you know, truly sincere and human and um, yeah, one of the best war films and coming of age films because it really is one of the most human, um, sincere and you know, it has a sense of a magic and charm to it but you know, very, very brutal, um, you know, it's very dark at times and um, you know, combine that with the kind of, uh, the, the, the traits of Spielberg which you know, just the sense of, sense of wonder uh, that he usually brings uh, to films, you know, and it's something else, you know, it's one of the magnum opuses for me, um, you know, many people would be shocked but that's my opinion. I, I've made a strong case for it. You know, I think um, in terms of characters and narrative and the emotion and the beauty of the film, um, you know, the poetry, the way it kind of, the way um, you know, what it says about humanity and, and the loss of uh, innocence um, and also hope um, in the face of disaster. And of course, you know, Jim, you know, getting taken away from his family. Uh, and then of course, you've got that ending uh, when he reunites. Um, what I say about that is, 
course, he's not the same, um, but, you know, just that final bit, you know, where he kind of closes his eyes, um, there's something very, very kind of um, comforting about that, and, um, you know, like he can finally rest in, in certain ways, um, but then he has grown up in many ways as well, um, you know, he's come off, come out of the other end, you know, very, very different, um, but, you know, kind of something inside him is still there, um, and it's just, it's one of the most um, beautiful films I've ever seen, and, um, it really is so emotional, uh, this film, and just Christian Bale's best performance, um, you know, probably, possibly, you know, I'm not going to say this is best film, uh, we'll get to that, but, but you know, it basically it could be very, very close at least, and um, yes, just one of the very best Spielbergs, my, my sick favourite at the moment, um, so yeah, this and E.T. have both got the, the TRS, and um, four films, uh, you know, in between, them two films basically also have that rating, of course, um, if you do the maths. And yeah, I just think uh, my second favorite director for a reason. Um, so yes, Empire of the Sun for me is a magnum opus. Um, you know, it's just, it's beautiful, um, you know, sincere. Um, it's one of the most powerful films I've ever seen. And um, every second, every frame, um, it's just something I am truly invested in. Um, you know, just even the very, very small moments, the small scenes where it's just, riding about through the house, an empty house. You know, this plays out like a silent film at times, um, and well done Spielberg for that. Um, he knows how to take and kind of, um, you know, you know, really stick to, to what is essential in cinema, and that is, you know, visual storytelling and um, just pure emotions. And uh, once again, so thankful for Spielberg uh, for making such a magnum opus. Um, wonderful, wonderful film, and um, perfect in my mind, no doubt. Um, this is... One of the greatest films ever made, in my opinion, and um, yes. Thanks for watching my review.